Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial, and you already know that with the help of scene render pass, you can apply uh, an effect that you naturally apply to two uh, to dimensional textures to the whole scene. But have you even wondered uh, if you can apply this effect to one 3D object. For example, in this tutorial I will show you how you can apply uh, different effects um, like outliner or pixelation to 3D object and then you can create a particle system uh, with this 3D object. So let's go. Um, for this tutorial you also need a block texture and uh, legalize it texture from my previous tutorial uh, then camera texture we will go to camera and click on uh, texture extraction and uh, you also need some patches uh, from spark air library it's sobo filter uh, three tone shader and pixelate shader uh, so then we will go to spark air library and uh, I will search for Lego and I will import uh, an Iron Man, the Legend of course. So the next step I will place this Iron Man to my scene. It will be child of focal distance. Uh, I will scale it down so it will be uh, 0 0.1. 0.1 and 0.1. Okay, nice. Uh, so um, I will place it just on the bottom. Okay, and the next crucial step you have to go to your 3D texture and change actually all textures. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to shader type flat. Otherwise, if you will not do it, uh, this feature will not be working. So, we will go to device, we will create a default render pipeline, and then I will copy scene render pass. Okay, then I will add a Lego Iron Man. I will connect it with scene object. Then, I will create a shade render pass. Um, so connect it, and with the help of shader render pass, you can uh, create a custom alpha for our texture. So I will call it alpha 3D object Iron Man. And next step, I will create a rectangle. I will uh, call it 3D object. So, and the next step will be fill his. Then I will create a material and I will call it kind of 3D object material. Okay, I will place a texture and I will connect it with my synth render pass. And the uh, default color will be zero. So, and then I will uncheck use depth test. And okay, and now uh, we have, as you see, 3D object. So here it is. And actually, what we have done, uh, we have taken a 3D object and we have kind of um, transformed it to to d texture but if you are rotating your 3d object um, the 2d texture will remain the same as 3d object and now 3d object and 2d uh, objects from 3D are visible, so I will add a new rectangle, fill with, fill his, 
material create new I will call it cam texture cam texture and I will place it under my 3D object so my 3D object uh, which is now a 2D texture is visible so when I move in it uh, when I move in my rectangle uh, my 3D object, uh, a new 3D object is also moving so I will go to camera texture I will uncheck to use depth test and now we have only our rectangle with 3D object on it so uh, to this rectangle I will go to texture uh, uh, sorry camera texture texture and I will connect it now with a camera texture so now only our rectangle is visible and actual 3D object is behind it and now you can apply anything you want uh, to this rectangle uh, for example I will add a servo filter um, texture our texture uh, will be scene render pass then I will add uh, screen size um, one more step I will divide it vector 2 by 1 then um, convert to patch group and I will add a tree tone shader so and then I want to connect a Triton shader with my uh, 3D object rectangle. Uh, as you see, it is not working properly. Uh, why? Uh, because we have to add alpha to our 3D object rectangle. So we have created shader render pass and we have called it alpha to the object iron man and now we'll go to 3d object rectangle and i will add alpha and we have here alpha to the object iron man texture so okay uh now we have applied uh sobel filter and return shader to our Iron Man and now I want to actually create an outline for our 3D object so um, highlight color it will be black middle tone color will be also black and shadow color will be invisible so alpha channel will be zero and now uh, as you see we have our outliner for 3D object and by the division um, by the higher number we can change the thickness of its 3D object uh, outliner and now only outliner of our 3D object is visible so I will create a new rectangle uh, fill with fill with fill his uh, material I will call it uh, I will call it 3D mo 3D object and the old one I will create uh, I will um, name it 3D object um, for example some kind of outliner and rectangle also 3D object and this will be outline so then I will click on material texture and I will connect it with scene render pass so now we have both um, outliner and 3d object but now I will place a 3d object rectangle under my 3d object rectangle outliner so both are visible as you see, outliner and 3D object are now visible. Okay, and I will move slightly our outliner. So 
we have outliner now and 3d object visible it's cool but uh, the next step i will rotate i will create a rotation uh, for my 3d object so you see that it's uh, actually a 3d object but not a 2d texture so loop animation then uh, transition I will connect uh, duration will be mm, 5 I will connect uh, progress to transition uh, start will be 0, 0, 0 and end will be uh, 360 connect it and as you see now our 3D object and our outliner uh, are rotating but it's actually all happening on our canvas that is 2D object I will change slightly um, rotation a little bit adjustments Okay, guys, doesn't matter. So I'll place uh, 3D object and. Ah, okay. For example, if you're moving uh, actual 3D object, then this object will be also moving uh, on our rectangles. So, what have we done? Uh, we have taken a 3D object. Uh, added scene render pass to it and it is kind of a projection of 3D object to a rectangle to a 2D object and now I will create a um, um, particle system I will create a rectangle so material create new particle system A little adjustments to particle system breath rate will be only 5 uh, so particle size will be 0 0.1 and lifespan will be 1 second I will go to particle system material I will add it to our um, patch editor and I will connect a scene render pass to it and as you see we have created um, particle system with our rotating 3D object uh, for, yeah and uh, says here the last one effect I want to show you guys it is um, pixelation so we will legalize it uh, convert to patch group something is wrong guys Oops, control Z. Uh, I will take a look. Uh, you have to change uh, leg texture and camera texture. So you have to switch places. Uh, so, uh, the next step I will connect my Legolas shader with scene render pass so scene render pass will be something like camera texture for Legolas shader then I will go to textures I will add a block it's legal texture then I will drag a device and I will connect it to with device screen size and amount will be something like, like 20 okay and now I will connect it with shader render pass and I will call it uh, 3d object pixelated alpha um, 3D object pixelated 
Uh, so, okay. Uh, and the next step. The next step, I will connect my. I will create a rectangle. I will call it 3D object Lego. Fill with and fill his material, create new, and I will call it 3D object Lego texture. Okay, I will add it to my patch editor and I will connect it with like a light shader. So, as you see, it's working. But in order to see only through the object uh, without like the texture, we have to add a pixelated alpha. Let's try it, but it will not be working. So, to the object pixelated alpha texture, it is not working now because we have to add a pixelate shader, connect it with a scene render pass, convert to patch group, convert, uh, connect screen device size, amount. Amount should be the same as legalize. Um, patch so it will be 20 and now I will connect it to our 3D object pixelated alpha and okay now we see pixelated uh, 3D object actually actually we have created a legal texture from our 3D object it's nice it's cool and I think that's all guys, uh, throw in the community and subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Facebook, uh, Instagram, whatever and uh, this project, I will comment this project and I will upload to it to my camera completely for free as always, um, hope you enjoy this tutorial and have a nice day guys. Bye bye.